Hi guys, Roman here with another video on Emitter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a secure Emitter broker. A broker which actually is going to listen on HTTPS port and um, provide the SSL encrypted or TLS encrypted uh, communication to the client. Right. So let's start, get started. Right. So I have this um, uh, set up here. So first thing we need to do is we need to actually generate a key. Right. We need to have a private key and we have, need to have a certificate. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to use a custom self-signed certificate, right? So in order to generate this, I will need basically uh, a local host certificate. So I'm here, I'm generating um, OpenSSL uh, certificate, RSA 2048 oh, for local host, private key and certificate. Right, the important part here, uh, we're actually asking for no DES, which will result in not having a password, right? As uh, as of right now, as a time filming this video, we're actually not supporting uh, passwords in certificates, right? So we'll do this. So it went ahead and generated a couple of uh, things. So we have a private key. Right, and we have a certificate. Right, if you're familiar with this, it's nothing different. Now, what we need to do now is we need to uh, start a meter. Right, so as usual, we have an emitter. We, not, we need to generate a license first. We'll go ahead and do this. Meter config. Right, generate our config file, paste the license. Now, it did a few things here, right? We have a TLS, we have a port by default, 443, which is HTTPS, um, and we have the host, right? So this is useful if you are going to use um, Let's Encrypt to actually auto-generate valid production range certificates. But in this demo, we're not gonna use this. In this demo, we're actually gonna use the certificate we have, right? So one way of doing this is changing the config and saying I have a certificate. So we're gonna enter certificate here uh, and then insert them, right? The location of a file. And then same thing, we have a private key and we give it a private key, right? So now I can run my meter again and what you can see here is we have this starting the listener which is unsecure and then we have a TLS right we set up the TLS with directory cache cache which means if there's need to be caching your certificate you're just gonna use the disk the file system and it started um, the listener on 443 right so that's pretty much it that's pretty much all we need now to test this we can go on uh, HTTPS our broker running my machine and on port 443 now we're going to just request keygen right so it will say hey um, this connection is not secure because I'm actually using self signed certificate so it's not uh, but can ignore that uh, exception confirm right and here we go we actually using SSL right we're connected to HTTPS and if you have a valid certificate of course this will disappear and that's it so um, thank you that's it for this video so in the next video we'll also talk about how to make this kind of production ready if you don't want to manage your certificate or you want to pay for them, uh, how do we uh, support uh, Let's Encrypt to auto-generate certificates? Thank you.